Hi, I'm Lulu and today I'm going to show you my 2018 Make 9. So um, I've got nine patterns here that I'm going to show you and then I've also got some fabrics that I have planned for those patterns. So the first thing that I want to make in 2018 is Cynthia Rowley, 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 Rowley. Um, 2215 is a Simplicity collaboration pattern for a pinafore. And so the pinafore is like it's quite round and high necked with darts and then this pleated skirt and it also has like a fray effect trim and buttons and I'm basically not doing any of those features I'm just using this for like the bare bones of the pattern so what I tend to do when I look at patterns is look at the illustrations and look at the lines that are present on the illustration before I decide if it's for me so I want to make a pinafore inspired by um, Therese Bellevet in Carol, which was a great film, and if you love vintage fashion and you haven't seen Carol, then you need to go and watch it right now. So Therese wears a selection of really great pinafores, so I really want to make one like that. And I'm going to be using this um, vintage, I think 1960s, um, green and sort of a creamy white floral that my grandma gave me. Um, it's like a narrow fabric so I'm not going to get a lot of skirt out of it but um, I think it's going to be really cute. I've already done some alterations on this pattern to um, make this neckline sort of more um, low and U shaped um, and I won't be doing any of this and I'll probably just be using the full width of the fabric to create the skirt and I want to put pockets in it for practicality reasons because I mean if you're not sewing pockets into your own clothes then what's the point in sewing your own clothes? Uh, the next thing, and this is something that I did start working on in 2017, is the Quickso K4015. It is a um, sort of anorak coat pattern. Um, I'm making this for my girlfriend, so um, I've already done all of my alterations on the pattern for her, and uh, I'm just about to start cutting out, so I'm very excited. Um, so I'm sort of making this view um, with the hood and in a um, coated fabric, but I am not doing this like low, a high front. We're just going to do it all the way around. Um, and I've not cut out the pockets yet, and I'm still thinking about that, but we'll see. So the fabric I'm using is this coated cotton in a sort of olivey, mustardy yellow slash green um, with cream and grey dashings, because dashings. <laughs> So that's going to be super fun and I hope to finish it as soon as possible really, but um, definitely before it starts to rain again in the UK, we're currently just very very cold instead of cold and raining. <laughs> Next thing that I want to make is a vintage style suit. I do have some vintage patterns, but I feel like I don't really want to get into those yet until I do something that's more like vintage inspired and then see how it's going. So I'm making Simplicity 2154, it's inspired by this vintage Simplicity pattern, and um, so I'm making the suit, not the cardigan suit, the like um, two-piece suit here. I also really love this blouse, I really want to make this blouse as soon as possible. Um, and it's just like a sort of 60s Chanel suit um, inspired by like Jackie Kennedy etc. I bought this in a sale from Minerva Crafts. Um, it's just a large navy check, sorry it's in like a plastic wrap still. Um, so the next sort of foray I want to get into is lingerie making. So I just started working for a lingerie brand and I'm really enjoying all the lingerie. So I really want to make my first bra. So I bought both of these Simplicity Madeline patterns. So this one is um, 8229 which is like my aspirational pattern. So I'm going to do this on second. So this, I'm counting this as one make. So this will be like my dream bra. And then once I've mastered this, I want to um, like elongate to make a long line bra. So that's what I'm gonna do with that one. And this one I'm probably going to make, so there's a halter neck bra with soft cups and no underwiring, which is why I'm making this one first. I feel like it would be easier with no underwiring. Um, yeah, so this is the back of the halter. And then there's one that's more like a racer back. Um, and I'm probably going to make the one that's more like a racer back, but maybe try and make it with more of a straight back. I don't really, <coughs> sorry, I don't really have a need for a racer back bra. I don't really wear things that come in in the sides. 
but um, yes, so that's exciting. I need to find some lace. I have no idea about that yet. I recently got an overlocker and um, until I got an overlocker I've not really been able to sew jersey because my sewing machine doesn't have a jersey stitch aside from a zigzag. So um, I'm excited to use that. So of course I've gone out and bought Tilly and the Buttons pattern and I've bought Coco. I want to start by making um, just the regular t-shirt in probably a stripe and I really do love um, the more like jumpery with the funnel roll neck um, in more of a sort of lightweight jumper fabric. I think that would be really nice, especially for the horrible weather we experience in this country. <laughs> but I'm very excited to sew some jersey, so I'm probably just going to buy some cheaper jersey to start with, see how that goes, before I start splashing out on Ponty Roma. Um, the next thing I've got is this vintage pattern. I've had this one for a while because it's so cute. I love vintage pattern illustrations. I think I bought this in a charity shop. This is uh, uh, Leroy Weldon's. It's 8794 and um, it's a 36 bust, I'm a 38 bust, so I'm just going to um, size that up a little on the side seams. Um, but yes, it comes with lots of different variations, so it's all this Peter Pan collar blouse, and I really love this one with the ruffles, so I'm probably just going to make a sort of short-sleeved Peter Pan collar blouse, like a basic one, to start with, before I start going mad with um, jabots or pleats or anything like that, because this is really cute. Um, and I'm going to make um, the B blouse from Simply Sewing magazine. Um, so this is like a really, really, really cute blouse with like a bow collar and um, short or like elbow length sleeves. I really, really love a bow. I think it's really cute and it's sort of like a preppy sort of 1950s, 1960s blouse. Again, this would go really nicely with that suit I'm going to make. So maybe I'll make it in a corresponding fabric to go with the suit. It's also like really great, sort of elongated into a shift dress. So I might try that out as well. And then my next two patterns again are vintage, but you can find um, <coughs> you can find similar patterns on like Etsy. Um, if you go to like antique shops, you can find similar patterns. And some of the big sewing brands have done like reproduction patterns of similar styles. So I'll see what I can find and put those down below so you can make a similar one. So I really want to make my own pyjamas, because why not? I spend a lot of time in my PJs, so I want to get some really great um, sort of brushed cotton fabric and maybe some seersucker for summer. Um, so I want to make this vintage Vogue pattern. It's Vogue 9357. Um, this isn't a medium, so I might again have to take this out a little. Um, so for summer, I want to make... Um, Basically this, I don't really want to make this night dress because um, I prefer to have the bottoms on. So on the back you can see that they've taken the um, regular shirt, uh, made it short sleeve, um, and then paired it with some small shorts. So I'm probably going to make that in like a seersuckery fabric or gingham for summer. And then for winter I really want to make a nice pair of tartan or plaid pyjamas in like a really nice brushed cotton. Um, in this pattern, and I might add the ruffle in here, so it's super cute. Um, I just thought this was really fun. You don't really get PJs like this anymore. Yes, and I really like that it's got like this um, gathering below a yoke, so that um, it's just like a loose, comfortable fit. And I really love that she's holding a book. Like I go to bed with my book. <laughs> So I'm excited to make that one. So I decided I didn't want to make any sort of special occasion dresses because last year all I made was dresses for weddings. Like basically all I made. If you look at my things I made in 2017 video, um, it's mostly things that we wore to weddings. So I have sort of covered in that area. I don't need to make anything else. And I haven't been invited to any weddings so far in 2018. That could all change. But um, I wanted to make a nice maybe like end of year, maybe sort of Christmas party dress. So um, I found this one again in a charity shop or thrift shop. It's um, Butterick 8038. Um, I have seen a vintage reproduction pattern that's very similar to this. I don't know if it is a reproduction of this one, but I think it's really cute with this like um, asymmetrical front here. I'm probably gonna make the pencil because my fabric again is very narrow. I've got a vintage fabric for this one. I'll show you in a second. But um, I really love that on the back they show you all the pattern pieces. So you can see 
like how it's all going to go together before you start doing it. I don't actually know that I have all the pattern pieces for this, so that could be difficult, but at least I've done this so I can try and like work it out in my brain. Um, this one again is a 34 bust, so I'm going to have to do some twirls of this. Um, which will be fine, I'm fine with that. Um, and it'll be nice to have a really beautifully fitted dress. I just really like as well this um, underbust detail where it's like a, the way it's shaped without darts. So I'm excited for that. Um, I think I'm going to try and use this fabric. Um, it's a sort of very soft short pile velvet in. Um, some very dark navy with little pink and red flowers with green leaves and there's like a very subtle spot in the background this sort of golden toned spot so that's exciting so that's my 2018 make nine um, if you want to see those videos of things that i make i'm intending to do monthly updates because i love doing sewing and i really want to share the things that I've made. I've already started working on two of them so I'm hoping to maybe finish two or three projects a month. Not of those I've got like extra things I want to do like gathered skirts because I wear those basically every day. Um, so yeah if you want to see those projects shared subscribe and I'll update you. Um, I've been post posting my sewing process on my Instagram stories recently so if you follow me there then you can see those um, and I'll see you next time.